Hey, Coils of Love, how are you? <laughs> she said, I'm finally here. I set my alarm. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys joined. Happy um, Easter Sunday for anyone who does celebrate that today. I know um, different cultures have it on different days. So that's why I'm here because if you aren't celebrating or want to play with makeup, we can have fun with that. <laughs> I'm going to uh, prep my stuff while I wait for everyone to get on. How is everyone's weekend going? I hope you guys are surviving. At least it's nice here in Washington. Thank the Lord, because we can go outside now, because I am tired of being inside, and I'm sure you guys are too. <laughs> Hi, Jenna Giggles, Ashley, Christina. Nice to see you guys on here. I've got my um, water bottle. This is what I plan on bringing to the hospital um, hopefully within the next couple weeks when I go to give birth. So I got the beast. I feel like it should be like the beast. <laughs> so I'm drinking out of this now. <laughs> Hi, Danny K, Debbie, Melissa, Maureen, Casey, Wendy Harris, doing good cooking supper. I know, I figured everyone was probably gonna do some good cooking today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so exhausted this week. The pregnancy symptoms are kicking in. Just so you guys know, anyone who's joining in or if you're going to watch this later, not live, um, this isn't a makeup class. It's just a hangout with me. I'm going to be chit-chatting. We're going to have fun with some makeup. I randomly draw um, eyeshadows from the, the Matrix palettes that we're just going to play with. It's honestly just a fun, let's play with color. Let's try some new stuff today. That's all this is too. So <laughs> hi, Christina Rara, Jamie Warren. Thank you guys so much. Um, next week will probably be my last week of filming for a little bit until summer is over, um, just because I'll be 36 weeks tomorrow and the pregnancy symptoms are, they're killing me at this point, you guys. I have sciatica. It hurts to even walk up and down the stairs. So even getting up here, that's why I didn't blow dry my hair, because even doing motion with my arms and stuff, it's getting really bad. I see the doctor tomorrow. We'll see what they say, but send me some prayers. If anyone has any tips for sciatica, please tell me it goes away after I give birth because it's really stressing me out. I like, I cannot be hobbling around from here on out. I'm too young to hobble. <laughs> this damn braille right here. I got to fix this one. It's always like blank on camera. So anyways, we'll get going with our, um, with our product. And Marit is asking if there is, there's going to be, um, I can't say when we do have some shadows coming the trick right now is all the labs are closed so we're really behind on production of stuff so as soon as we find out information from our manufacturers i'll let you guys know on that so we are trying so <laughs> thanks willow whimsy yes i'm close to delivery so i think we're she's going to come early because i'm already having some slight contractions just random ones i don't know if they're braxton hicks or not but they are contractions i definitely feel them <laughs> So that's why I was like, well, next week's got to be my last week because I don't want to be on camera and have contractions. Finger crossed, I don't have any today. But <laughs> uh, Casey Sperling, you're due two weeks after me. You guys, it is a crazy time to have baby during a pandemic. Let me tell you, I did not expect my first and possibly only pregnancy to be in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. So hoping everything goes okay. <laughs> Will you be able to ship orders this coming week? It's pushed back. So those of you guys who placed orders, the um, seat of Michigan, that's where the warehouse is at, is under mandated lockdown until April 30th. So as soon as we're able to get back in there, we're going to ship stuff right away. We, I just can't let staff in there right now because it is mandated and Michigan's really bad right now. It's really, I think it's the third state um for cases so it's just not a safe place to work quite yet but if you guys can just hold on a couple more weeks i promise as soon as we open doors we'll get right in there and ship out everything um so i keep waiting i'm like come on <laughs> we need to get back in there people need orders <laughs> so uh okay so i'm gonna start you guys um with my rose so let's go ahead and get right into the class. And then I, throughout, because this is a casual one, I'm just going to chit chat with you guys. So this may be a longer video, but I want it to be fun. I want you guys to interact and talk with each other and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to start with row number one. So for those of you who may be new to the system, so matrix system goes from light to deep. And this is row one, two, three, four. So the idea is, is you can create any looks with the, there's a neutral palette and there's a color palette. And basically you can create any color story that you want by just simply following the rows of light to deep. It's all about dimension. So this would be row one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna pick one from each row randomly and then we're gonna do a look with it. And we're gonna see how it turns out. Sometimes it's a hot mess. 
sometimes it turns out all right. <laughs> okay, so let's start with row one. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, so the first one I have is bedrock. So bedrock is this guy right here. It's like a light grayish color. So let me pull that guy out. And I'm just going to put it in here. Let me swatch it for you guys so you can see what's going on. So this is bedrock. We're going to do a light gray. So we're going to drop this in. Just an empty palette for now. Okay, number two, row two. I always get nervous when we do these. I was like, what am I going to get? <laughs> all of you. Okay, this is going to be an interesting one. So all of you is an olive green color. Let me show you guys that. <laughs> olive green, row two. So here's row one. Row two is right here. So we're going to pick one of these guys up. So we have a green and a gray. Let's see what I get next. Lord help us. <laughs> row three is going to be... Is it gonna be take for granted? So that's another gray. That's kind of weird. We're gonna do a gray look today. Okay. Take for granted is this guy right here. So oddly enough, it's in the same row. So we're gonna be doing a, a nice cool tone kind of sultry look. <laughs> so that's that guy. Let me show you guys. You know, I'm not cheating. Take for granted, dark gray. No number three. Okay, row number four. Dun, dun, dun. Americano. So I got a bunch of kind of neutrally ones. Um, let me show you Americano. Okay, so Americano is in the neutral palette. This is row four. It's this guy right here. So let me swatch them so you guys can see. So I have kind of actually that's kind of a cool combo. Let me show you. So that's what I have. So um, clean or I'm sorry, bedrock. All of you take for granted Americano. Let me swatch them so you guys can see what colors we're working with. So if you have your makeup out right now and you want to try this, it's kind of a muted, um, cool tone look. Nor my sloppy swatches. So that's kind of the color palette right there. If you guys want, I can randomly pick out a um a power pigment if you guys want. We haven't done that. So comment here and I will follow your guys' lead. If a lot of you guys want to see just using these, let me know. If you want me to add in a bright pop of color to spice it up a little bit, I can choose one of these to kind of go in there and then tell me which one that you guys are thinking. So let me know. I'll wait for the comments there. Um, in the meantime, um, let me put some oil on my lips. We'll kind of prep that. So I'm going to use some rose sip heat rose hip seed oil everyone's saying add color <laughs> i'm gonna put this on my lips there we go okay red power pigment yellow i will follow you guys as lead i've got one red one yellow i've got a purple no keep it neutral please <laughs> some of them say yes actually most people most of you guys are saying yes to the power pigment okay i can pop in a yellow you guys want to try that We'll do the yellow one right here. Let's do yellow because I've seen a few of you say you want yellow. Okay, so this is potential. So this is what it looks like right there. It's like a bright, bright yellow. So we're going to drop that into. And then the only cheat one that I'm allowing myself to get is my highlight color. And that's in the um, this far right row right here. So these are all of our just kind of very like upper brow when I use them just for blending purposes. So I'm going to go in with the top one, which is, which is so pale. It's my go-to everyday kind of um, brow bone color just to soften everything out. Okay, I know my shadows are kind of jacked because I use them every day, but this is what we've got. Okay, let's see what we can do. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go in with my, let's start with the green because that's the most um, interesting one from here. So I'm just going to go in with a dome brush like this. Let's go in with all of you. And it's this guy right here. I think what I want to do, do I want to do a little bit under here? Let's put a little bit in the crease so that we can really see the green. So let me pick up some of that with a dome brush and let's kind of go in. And what I can do, you guys, is I can do one technique on one eye and one on the other using the same colors just to give you some options up to you, but this is going to be a very cool tone look. So I think what I'm going to do is just put color out here. This is kind of my go-to like that. 
I'm gonna keep blending that out a little bit more. And these brushes are ones that are coming out later for Makeup Geek. That's why you see the, um, they won't look exactly like this. These are just initial prototypes. I have some more tweaks to make to them, but they're really nice brushes. The quality is really good. So we are bringing out new brushes. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the green here. I'm gonna do this eye first, and then we'll have fun with the other eye and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I'm buffing that out. I'm gonna take just a clean, brush under here to clean it up like that and then i'm going to wipe off this brush let's go in with row number two which is clean slate it's this guy right here so this is row this is row one this is row two so i'm gonna go with row one which is a kind of light gray just want to buff this up up here really get that color this is going to be a very sultry look <laughs> just like that and this is gonna be an all matte look. So we will have um, the foils, will get their own palette here pretty soon. And we'll start moving them over um, to their own palette. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe off that brush. Let's go in with So Pale. And that's my freebie color. That's my brow bone. We're gonna put it right here. Just to kind of blend everything out. But this is very, very cool tone, which for me is good because I never wear cool tones, you guys. I always wear warm. So this is forcing me to go out. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Michelle. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Yeah, I'll be on you guys. I'll do another class on Thursday and then I'll do, um, you know, as long as baby's still, you know, baking in the oven, I will be here next Sunday. And then that'll probably be my last one because that'll be end of 36 weeks. I'll be 37 weeks by that point. And I think she's going to come early. We're hoping. <laughs> okay, I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. I'm trying to wonder, we kind of did a smoky eye last week, so I don't know if I want to do this guy all over the lid. So maybe I'll do a kind of a fade out here. Um, so let's try that. So I'm just going to go in with kind of a smaller dome brush. This is going to be, uh, which one is this one? Americano. So we're going to go in with Americano. And kind of blend it out here. I actually kind of like this with the green. What do you guys think? Would you do this look? Would you? <laughs> I wonder if I have my tape. I don't, but I have a card. You know what I think I want to do, you guys, is do kind of a smoked out cat eye out here. So let me take on, um, let me take just a piece of stiff paper. If you have a business card, that'll work too. I don't have my scotch tape with me right now, so we're going to make this work. I'm going to put this here as a guide. Let's put this down. This is Americano. And there we go. Kind of want to do a kind of cat eye right out here. <laughs> Just a few more weeks till I meet my baby girl. I know I'm scared out of my mind, you guys, but I'm so excited. It keeps me up at night now too, because I'm like, ah, she's, I'm so ready to see her, but I'm not ready to push her out of my lady bits. Let's just say that. <laughs> so if anyone has positive birth stories, please tell me them so I can stop freaking out. I don't know why I'm being such a big baby. I'm like, women have done this for thousands of years. Why am I struggling? Why am I freaking out? I think it's just the unknown because I don't know what to expect. And then it's the middle of a pandemic. So I don't know what's going on at the hospital, all of that good stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lindsay say, I would love if you came out with cream and liquid shadows. That would be really pretty. We do have some things coming. It's just everything is so delayed right now, as usual. It's like the story of my life. I'm applying a little bit more green just because it was starting to get, um, I needed to blend that out just a little bit. Actually, this is pretty. I don't mind this at all. I'm not mad at this combo. <laughs> I'm dry brushing up here kind of blending it out and then let's try the yellow let me um take a flat brush so we're gonna go with this guy right here i'm gonna go in with yellow that bright color let's see how it turns out let's try actually i kind of like this i'm liking this combo i don't i'm not mad that it's matte i'm really not what do you guys think? <laughs> it's more vibrant in person. I feel like on camera, it's just washing it out a little bit more, but that's actually really cool. Okay, let me go back in with a 
let's go in with a dome brush. I want a little bit bigger one. Let's go in with like something like this. Or let's go in, actually let's do this guy. Something a little bit stiffer because I want to start touching this up right here. So I'm going to go in with this guy. And Americano is a rich plummy brown. So I think mixed with the yellow and the green, it's actually giving me kind of a cool sultry look with a pop of color. I'm not mad at that. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> am I rescuing this look? Am I just making it worse? What am I doing? Okay, so I've got it right there. I feel like Bob Ross right now. I'm like, let's paint some happy trees. Let's paint a little bit more right here. <laughs> May Metri is asking, what is the difference between a dome brush and a rounded brush? I'll show you. So a dome brush is great, you guys, for blending out here um, in the crease and all of that stuff because it gets right there in the groove. Do you see how it's kind of dome like this? Whereas a rounded brush, like this is the one I always use for my concealer. Do you see how it's not really pointing up? It's very like round like this. So this is a dome brush. This is a round one. They're obviously different sizes, but that's kind of the different one there. So uh, someone said they delivered their son. Rara says I delivered my son. Eight pounds was the best day of my life. It wasn't a breeze, but no bad memories. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of green under here too, just because I want to, um, I want a little bit more color. Let's blend over the Americana a little bit more. So whenever you guys are blending two very different colors, it's just a matter of going back in. So I'm picking up more of Americano and then I'm going to go back in with the yellow and that's how you get two very different colors to blend. You just have to keep going back and forth. So we can switch, we can keep the dome brush, wipe it off on just a clean towel. I always keep on my lap. You can pick up more yellow, see like that, and then just keep blending over that line until you feel like it's blended the way that you want. I'm wiping it off, picking up more of this. You just gotta keep going back and forth. Make sure you clean your brush in between. There, I think that's a little better. That's actually really pretty. I'm, I'm kind of liking that. Okay. Most people don't like putting color under the lower lash line, but I like to because my eyes are protruding. Remember, we talked about the eye shape in a class before. So I'm going to put a little color to here. It's optional if you guys want to do that or not. So I'm going to go in with all of you and just a little tiny dome brush like this. And we're going to smudge this under here just because I want a little bit more green showing up. And then what I like to do, remember that round brush that I showed you guys earlier? This is where I clean up under here. Just like that. Okay. Right here, do you see how it's not really blended? So let's go back in with that dome brush, the one I used earlier, and a little bit more of that green. You see the green right there? And let me just keep touching that up until I feel that it's blended. Yeah, I feel like that's a little better. That's actually really pretty. Okay, let me put some eyeliner on my waterline and then we'll do a different technique for this eye using the same color. I think what I wanna do is put a yellow all over the lid. Fingers crossed that it works out. <laughs> okay, so just take any sort of eyeliner pencil. I'm gonna put some black in the waterline to kind of pull this together. And I'm gonna add a lash for you guys. And then let me answer some questions while I do the lash because that takes a minute. Okay. Do you see I'm putting that in the waterline? I'm gonna put some up here, just cause I feel like this is such a dark kind of smoky look. So I feel like it can handle it pretty well. Okay, so let's do some lashes and then I'll show you guys my trick for lashes too. I think I'm gonna do, let's see. Do I wanna do fearless or elegant? Maybe let's try elegant. I have these guys, so let's try them. <laughs> Jen Wong, once you get the epidural, it's like night and day. You can relax, sleep, have more energy when it's time to push. I am so getting the epidural, you guys. I, I have so much respect for anyone who can do it without the epidural, but I know I'm a big baby, so my butt is getting the epidural. Hopefully it goes well. <laughs> so I'm going to take the lashes elegant, and let me place some on. So what you guys can do whenever I'm finding lashes for a look, I kind of just set them down first and be like, okay, do these look Okay. Yeah, I actually, ooh, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these on the edge. 
Let me show you my trick. <laughs> Happy Easter, Brandy. Erin Ferringer, do it, girl. I feel you. <laughs> Everyone's like, just do the epidural. It's fine. It helps so much. I was like, oh, I am. So do I'm going to walk in and be like, give me the stuff. Give me the meds. <laughs> okay, so I cut the edge of that. I'm going to put the glue on. I'll let it sit for a second. And then I'll chit chat with you guys. And then we'll figure out the look for this eye using the same colors, but just doing a different placement to see what it looks like. So I'm experimenting with you guys too. I always, uh, <laughs> last week it was a hot mess with that blue. My gosh, smeared it all over my face. Okay, so I've got the lash glue on. And what I do is I set it down for a good minute. I just set it against a brush so it's kind of standing up so the glue's not touching anything. And you have to let it sit for like a good 30 to 60 seconds. Um, so if you put it on right away, it's going to slide all over and mess up your look. And then you're going to be cursing and be like, Marlena told me to do it this way. And then you're going to send me hate email. And then it'll be sad. And then it's going to be horrible. <laughs> okay. I know everyone's like, epidurals rock. <laughs> um, uh, some... Uh, Clarissa said she took he had an epidural and it didn't take. I know that's my fear too, is like they're they're gonna give it to me and it's not gonna work. And I'm just gonna have to do it, you know, with pain anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna try putting yellow all over the lid, but I think what I wanna do to get the yellow to stick because it's such a bright and a light color, I'm gonna take a little bit of a paint pot. This is Max Painterly Paint Pot. I'm gonna go in, this is kind of whatever you guys would use to do a cut crease. I'm gonna take a small um kind of brush like this. And we're just going to put a little bit down because I actually want it to stick. Usually if I want it to blend and be very soft and fluffy, I would put powder down. I wouldn't put any base or primer or anything. So I'm just going to put it on the lid like that. You can kind of take your finger and do this. Okay. Let's see what it turns out with the yellow on the lid. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. <laughs> I usually don't wear um, yellow shadows, but I'm starting to love them more. I don't know why I was always afraid to wear yellow shadow, but it's actually really pretty. I like that a lot. I don't know how it's gonna look with the gray. The gray kind of can mute it down. I usually like wearing um, yellows with like muted browns, but we're gonna work with what we got. Cause I made a promise. I was gonna stick to what I, what I chose. <laughs> no yellow. Summer Breeze is like, no yellow. <laughs> when will we be restocking the neutral palette? I'm hoping within the next um, few weeks, once we get our shipment from the lab, we have Shadow that's sitting there at the lab and they are on a lockdown as well. So we're just, we're kind of doing the waiting game right now, waiting for our stuff. <laughs> I'm taking clean, I'm sorry, Bedrock. This guy right here, so this is row number one. I'm gonna put this in here with the dome and then I'll go back to the lashes and put those bad boys on. So I'm gonna do this up here. I'm gonna leave this open because I kind of want the yellow out here. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe a winged liner and I'll show you guys an easy way to do that too. Okay, so I'm putting the gray up here and just buffing it out like that. And then I'm gonna go in with my freebie color, which is my So Pale. And I'm going to use this just as a blending um, tool just to get that gray to kind of calm down a little bit and soften that. And then pick up a little bit more gray. There we go. I'm just kind of buffing it out like that. And you guys can go up as far as you want. So this technique will work good for hooded lids because your brightest and lightest color is on the lid. Do you see how this lid looks larger than this eye because it's all very light and bright in here. So that's a trick for hooded eyes um, or small eyes. If you want them to be larger, take your lightest, brightest, or your shimmer color, put that on the lid and keep your more darker colors up here. Okay. How was our lash doing? Got a little bit more time. <laughs> how does yellow uh, go with any color eyes? It actually can. You know what looks really good on though is blue eyes because it's opposite on the color wheel. So here's blue eyes, you know, somewhere in here, it's more opposite. Like usually I recommend oranges and stuff, but yellows work really good too. So blue eyes, it looks really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that Americano, this guy right here. And let's kind of smudge this out. I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling this look, you guys. I'm, I'm feeling it. 
<laughs> I'm gonna smudge it out here, just like that. Bring it down. I want just a little pop of color there. I think what I might do is just kind of bring it out a little, just like that. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> just like that. And I think what I would do is a kind of um, a winged liner. Okay, let's grab this lash here. So I've had it sitting. It's almost ready, not quite. Let me show you guys if you can tell. Do you see how it still looks kind of wet in the light? So you want it to look not quite so wet. You want it to start turning really dark. So we're gonna shake this a bit. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Minor hazel brown, copper, gold, and green, okay. Those are really pretty colors. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm liking this eye a little bit better than this one. I mean, this is really pretty, but the colors green and gray are really hard to pull off sometimes. Um, I like greens and browns, but we're going to make it work. <laughs> Happy Easter from Alaska. Alicia is from Alaska. Is it still cold up there or did it start getting warm? Uh, hi, Sherry. Nice to see you. I like your red hat and your picture. That's so cute. <laughs> Melanie Williams. Marlena, when are you uploading more Beauty in the Boss videos? I don't know um, because it didn't get as many views as I was hoping, which is fine. I try to follow the lead on what everyone wants on the videos, but they're so expensive to produce because it takes a full um, film crew and two days of filming to get all of that it's such a high production value that it's um it's very costly and very time time consuming so if i i feel like there's enough interest i could pick it up but right now it's hard especially with the baby coming too because it's such a time commitment to do that and it takes weeks of planning and weeks of editing too which is crazy for like a 30 minute video <laughs> Uh, Jenny Anderson, love the live videos. Thanks for doing them. I like doing these too. It reminds me of old school YouTube. It makes me very nostalgic. <laughs> okay, so I slapped those lashes on. I feel like that pulled the look together. What do you guys think? I, I think I like that a little bit better. I'm going to darken up under here a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, you guys, is take a, um, I don't know if you guys have a brush like this, this is another Makeup Geek one that we'll come out with, but do you see how it's kind of a flat shader brush? I know Mac has one too. I like, um, if I put black in the waterline, I like to put a dark color um, up close to it. Let me show you the difference. Just because it adds a little bit of drama, but it still stays to my um, lash line. Hold on. I got a little glue right there. And then I got a mistake right there. So let me show you how to fix it. You guys get to see all my boo-boos. <laughs> okay, so when you get lash glue in here, just take a pointed Q-tip and kind of separate them. And then I got a little color here. So I'm just gonna wipe that off with a Q-tip too. Happy little mistakes, happy mistakes. <laughs> As Bob Ross would say. <laughs> I'm gonna darken up just a little bit more out here. And then let's put some mascara on and then I'll finish up this eye look right here. Okay. I'm going to use the Voluminous Mascara. It's very voluminous. I love Voluminous. I'm going to put this here. Do you see how it balances out the top lashes? Because the top lashes are so dramatic. And then I'm going to kind of just put a little quick layer on so my real lashes kind of blend in. Just like that. I'm not going to do eyeliner or anything on this side. I'm going to save it for the other side. Okay. Okay. So here's what we've got going on over here. Let me touch up that gray just a little bit. And then I'm gonna do a winged liner. Okay, so that same gel liner that we had before, I like to take a brush like on um, like this one. That one's kind of messed up. <laughs> here we go. So I have a Makeup Geek Bent Liner brush. I like using this for gel liner. You guys can use water um, liquid liner too. I like doing the gel to start because it gives me time to kind of work with it. So I'm just picking up some of this color here. And let's start, I start at the um, center of my lid and I kind of drag it out. And then what I do is I flip the brush and because I have slight hooded lids, I tug on the eye just a little bit and I flip the brush this way and I start to create this line and then I join it 
to the lid like that. And we can always clean this up later. And you're gonna try to create a triangle effect. If you feel like your hand isn't steady, you can use that um, trick that I used before, either tape or, or you can use um, like a business card and you can use this as a guide. Keep it down really, really good. So you can use that as a guide. And do you see how I'm creating a triangle effect right there? And I pull it off a little bit got underneath, but that's okay. We got our pointy Q-tips right here and you can kind of clean that out and drag it out. See, so you got a liner like that. So that's it, it's pretty easy for a winged liner. And then what I do now is I'll pick up some more and then if you feel like you wanna come all the way in, then you can start coming in. So just like this. Sorry, I get really quiet when I do the, when I do the liquid liner or do liner of any kind. I'm like, I can't mess up. I can't talk. <laughs> One trick, you guys, if you feel like your liner isn't dragging enough, what you can do is you can take a little cotton pad and some makeup remover and you can wipe your brush in it. What it's going to do is dilute the color down. It's going to wet your brush. And I like to kind of do this to give it a really strong point. And then you can go back in and pick up more color. It'll kind of soften it a little bit so it glides a little more easily. So let's try that. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Can you guys see <laughs> what I'm doing? Okay. There we go. And as we get older, I notice my skin is a little bit looser, so I have to kind of tug on it a little bit, but just don't tug too hard. But I have to or else it starts skipping. It's the sucky part about me aging as my skin is getting loose. Wish they had like eye exercises you could do for your, your lids so they uh, stay nice and tight, you know? <laughs> like Pilates for the eye or something. <laughs> Anyways, what do you guys think of that? I actually kind of like that. Let me touch up right here. It looks like it's kind of skipping right there. So let me touch this part up. There we go. And if you feel like this still isn't clean here, you can still, you can take that on that Q-tip and try to clean it off. Or what you can do is you can go in with that base and um, just a, let me see if I've got it. You can go in with a, a concealer, a base, foundation, anything that's kind of close to your skin. And you can take a kind of angled brush like this and you can clean it up like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you can clean up right here. Like that. It'll give you a really crisp line. And then I like to go back in with that pointed Q-tip and kind of, you know, clean it up. Like that. That's really pretty actually. I like it. I'm going to bring the color up here just a little bit more and then we'll put our lashes on and then we can chat for a minute. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bit more gray. Let's bring this color up a little bit higher. So you could see it because see when my eyes are a little bit hooded so i want to bring the color up higher so you can see it because otherwise with hooded eyes you you can't see the crease color unless you start bringing it up more just like that i like that that's really pretty okay let's put the lash on <laughs> hi lady hi daniela or Danielle, <laughs> I like that idea to clean it up. Yes, I have very round eyes and wings always bend when I open my eye. Any tips? I would say you don't have to do a winged eye, eye or what I would do is bring the angle out a little bit further. So my eyes kind of do that the same. Do you see how when my eyes are like this, it kind of cuts off the wing? Um, so you can bring it down either lower or out further. So you can just kind of follow the eye and then don't wing it till you get out here. That's one trick. Or don't just do a baby wing. Don't do one so much and you'll just kind of stop the wing about right there. I don't know if that makes sense at all. You just got to kind of play around with it to see what works for your eye shape. Um, but bringing it out further or just doing a baby wing actually works really good. I'm going to put the same lashes on. So let me show you guys again. I'm using my Huda Beauty Lash Glue. And I'm going to just put a layer of this on. 
and then we'll do a lip color together. We'll do the lips. Okay, so I've got the glue on. I'm gonna set it down. We're gonna let it sit for about a minute. Okay, so my lips have been hydrating with the oil. Let me touch up. You guys know I always get a little like lip sweat right there. So let me touch up with a little bit of powder. So what I do for that is I take my um, brush, I go in with that same color, this, my freebie color. I just gotta powder it up right there. Oh, Lordy, oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, so lip color. I'm actually gonna use a Vizzy Art lip palette today. It's kind of a nudie palette right here. I think because with the yellow, I actually want to go in with a kind of rosy color like this. So I like to apply these with a lip brush. So I just have kind of that same one that I used earlier to do my base. See how it's like a really flat kind of brush? It's a lip brush. So let's go in with this color right here. And I'm just going to do like a light application. We're gonna almost make this look like a lip stain or just a light layer of lipstick. Oops, wrong one. There you go. <laughs> I gotta see in the mirror here. Do you see how having a flat, really skinny kind of brush like this really gives me control and I can really carve out the lip with that. So if you guys don't like putting lipstick on straight from the tube, I'd say put it on with a brush because it gives you more control. It can almost line your lips with it. Let me show you. So if you pick up the color like this, you can actually line. You see how you could shape your lips with it? Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to, if I wanna make my lips look bigger. I really like that color with the this here. I think it's really pretty. Okay, now if you guys wanna make your lips look bigger and you don't wanna draw outside of your lip line because I feel like sometimes it can be a little obvious, what I like to do is go in with a lighter color so this is the lip color I put on. I'm gonna go in with this. We're gonna put it in the center of the lips and it's going to make the lips look a little bit bigger. So let me show you. Actually, I'm gonna go in with this guy, the really light one. And put it here. Do you see how this lip already looks a little bit bigger? Just in the center and kind of tap it out. You see how much bigger my lips look? And then, and then if you really want them to look big, gloss is your best friend. <laughs> I have the Healing Lays lip, lip glosses, but I don't know, it's down in my purse. I always forget to pull them out, but we have Healing Lip, lip Glaze glosses. They have um, some properties in it that are really hydrating for your lips. They're amazing. But any sort of gloss will work. This one is not clear. That's not the one that I want. I don't see my gloss. Anyways, if you guys put gloss on, I don't have it with me, it's going to make your lips look really, really full. So I like that a lot. Okay, let's put this um, lash on. I feel like it's almost ready. <laughs> right there. So what are you guys doing for the rest of today? Is everyone, did anyone do like Easter egg hunts with their kids or do um, any sort of Easter activities? I feel like we're not doing anything today. I feel like I'm the only one. <laughs> there we go. This lash keeps, uh, the glue keeps sticking in there. It's such a pain in the butt. Okay, let's grab my tweezers. Okay, we're gonna take them at the center. I was gonna ask you guys too, did anyone watch Tiger King? I think that's the name of it, that uh, series. That was freaking crazy. It was on Netflix, it was insane. <laughs> Oh, we did a family Zoom chat for two hours. That's so cool, Lori. Oh, Nancy Olivier, you're from France. We, you know what? I, my French is so rough, but I'm going to go back and read it because I can tell you you're saying what you're doing. Coco Sumatin today. What is Coco? I'm going to have to translate that one. I'm going to read it. I've been studying my French. I was studying last night. I suck at learning languages, but I'm still trying. <laughs> biryani with family. Oh, charming guru. I like that one. I, my husband loves biryani. It's one of his favorite dishes. Jeez, I already got the glue right there. That's what I get for talking. We're going to touch that up. Just like that. 
it wouldn't be a live video if I didn't at least fumble schmuck my way through something on here. Okay, do that. I'm gonna grab the inner corner, push it in, and then the outer corner, push it in. Just like that. And then I gotta let it sit for a minute. Woo! Scary time over. <laughs> uh, thanks so much, Barbara. Easter celebration with Marlena. I know. That's why I wanted to do it today. I was like, well, if everyone's like, we're all kind of stuck inside still, so might as well have fun with some makeup. Do something fun. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> uh, I got a huge Makeup Geek order a couple weeks ago. I'm playing with the new shadows. have been keeping me sane. Ugh, I know makeup is my happy place too. I feel like that's why I love doing these so much because it forces me to step away from day-to-day -day life and to actually just have fun with makeup. I'm really liking that. I don't know which eye do you guys like better. Do you like the... Uh, right eye or the left eye? <laughs> Monica's making baked chicken and roasted potatoes with devil eggs and fruit salad. Can I come over? <laughs> Can you save me a plate? Just put it outside. I'll do a drive by and grab it. <laughs> we ordered um, yesterday. We have a few restaurants that do um, takeout or they do curbside where you can pull up and they're really stringent. They have a face mask on. They hand it to you. We got little wipes in the car. We're trying to be really strict since I'm pregnant. But there was a sushi place in Washington. It's so good. I've been, I'm not having anything raw because I know I can't have sushi while pregnant, but I have the cooked stuff. Oh my gosh. And chicken teriyaki. I tore that up yesterday. <laughs> I had no shame. I was like, I'm going in. <laughs> okay, here we go. I actually liked how that turned out. <laughs> More power to people who wear strip lashes. Color Brights is saying, I know they can be pain on the butt to wear. Especially, you know what happens right here is that glue always gets stuck in my inner corner. So I always have to take a Q-tip and kind of separate it right there. <laughs> I have a mug mug now. <laughs> I love it, Betsy. I love it. <laughs> oh, hold on. Does baby move a lot? She is. She's moving a lot. Let me show you guys my belly for now. We can kind of hang out for a second and just chit chat. So let me show you my bump for now. This is the 36 week. I'm like hobbling because my back is killing me. Woo. So that is the, see my shirt doesn't even fit anymore. It's kind of stretched out. I gotta find, it doesn't go down long enough right here. So that is, uh, you can see my little pants under there. That is 36 weeks right there. We are, we are hobbling and struggling. That's it. <laughs> Woo. I'm telling you guys, I, I got the pregnancy waddle this week. I was so proud of myself because I was like, oh, maybe I won't get the pregnancy waddle. And then overnight, literally, my back seized up. I started getting sciatica pain and now I, I, I waddle everywhere. <laughs> Woo, I'm ready for her to come out. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> I love that you guys are talking to each other. This was so much fun. So definitely next week we'll do one more as long as baby still stays in there as bacon. And then after that, I'll probably take a break until after summer. But if you guys want to, on my personal Instagram, Marlena Stell, I po I'll post baby pictures and um, some stuff on my live there. So that way you guys can kind of see the baby journeys. That's what I'll be doing this summer is uh, taking care of a baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hi, Courtney. Uh, Sandy, Miss Sophia. It's okay. You can watch it again. I'll post it up here so you could catch it. Um, so that way, even if you didn't get it live, you could still watch it. We still have fun. What makeup does your hubby like? You know what? He likes, he's just very, he likes natural. He loves them without makeup. Um, he likes the colorful ones. He actually likes anything and everything. He's always like, oh, you're so beautiful. He's such a sweet, sweetheart. I could be looking like crap in sweatpants and not a lick of makeup on and tore up from the inside and out. And he's still like, oh, you're so beautiful. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, he likes anything and everything. <laughs> That's a keeper right there. I know for sure. Yep. <laughs> I was going to ask you guys too, did any of you put makeup on when you went to delivery? Because I feel like I'm going to be so stressed out when contractions start. It's like, I want to wear a little something. Um, cause I know we're going to try to get pictures, but at the same time, I'm like, do I want to wear makeup and just have it be all sweating off? I don't know. What do you guys think? Did anyone wear makeup? Is it not even bother? Cause I still have to, that's what I have to do today is pack my hospital bag, the last little bits of it. 
and I haven't packed any makeup yet. And I was like, oh, do I want to bring any or not? I don't want to get there and then regret it. Look back at my pictures, be like, oh, I should have had at least a little mascara or something. No, I didn't. No ma makeup during delivery. Desiree saying, nope, none. Yeah, I was kind of thinking, I don't, I don't know if I'm sweating and all that stuff. I can imagine it's going to get like in the way and I don't know. Maybe I'll just bring like a few items for the day after delivery. So when we go home, maybe I could get a couple pictures. I think I might do that. I don't know. But I see some women that are like literally full glam and they're birthing a human out of their vajayjay. And I'm like, how? How are you doing this? <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Thanks so much, Beauty Over 50, Teresa. I'm glad you get to hop on and say hi too. Grab what you want. And if you don't use it, then it's okay. Yes. <laughs> hi too, Hake. Okay, I'm an old follower since you started your first video years ago. So cool. You can do minimal makeup. Yeah. I was thinking of that. Danielle Badur, I had a full face before and after. Girl, you are brave. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I just, I'm preparing for the, the what ifs and I don't know what's going to go on. <laughs> Some places they don't let you wear makeup in the deliveries because your doctors want to see what's going on. Okay, that makes sense. No makeup makeup. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling when I'm actually delivering, I'm not going to want anything on. And then the next day I'll, I'll do a little something. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bring some makeup for after if you want, but during, it's going to be the last thing you care about. Your whole perspective shifts during that time. Nature takes over. That makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> Aw. Emily Noel did it. I know. I watched her video. I need to watch it again because I watched her birthing video right when she had her son. And it was so amazing to watch. So I'm going to watch it again to give me inspiration and hopefully get through this labor because I'm like scared of my mind. Benazir Asan, my due date is May 12th. But she's running two weeks ahead from all of her measurements. She's a little bit big. So, and then the dates don't match up from when we think it all happened because I broke my ribs right before I got pregnant. And I was like, that did not happen at that time. So we really think she's going to come the end of April. So I think instead of 36 weeks, I think I'm almost 38. That's why I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling it. <laughs> So, yes, <laughs> all five births got ready before going to the hospital while in labor. Okay. So there may be time, maybe time. So is mug shipping at all? Are you waiting till it's over? So we're taking orders right now. We're shipping after April 30th as a date. Now, as long as things in Michigan calm down, that's where the warehouse is and we're under mandated lockdown. So as soon as we're able to safely go back to work, we'll ship out whatever we can. Um, so we're looking at a couple more weeks. So I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> as long as everyone's safe. That's what I care about. <laughs> uh, Bridget has twins. I can't imagine life without them. I know. Uh, my husband, I actually, I don't know if I told you guys um, that we, I technically had a twin. So the first time we had an ultrasound, I think it was my 10 week or 12 week checkup. There was a second baby, but uh, the second baby didn't develop. So it just, the, she, the doctor said my body just absorbed it, which is what happened. Um, and then just the one baby, Adelina, made it. So she's she's our, our survivor. But we started off with twins. And my husband's face, when they were like, well, we see two in there. Because he's wanted twins so bad. I was like, no, I'm good with one. I don't know if my back and body can handle two in there crammed in at the same time. So he was really excited. His whole face lit up. He looked at me. He's like, I told you, I told you. And then they were like, well, we don't see that that one's developing. But we'll keep an eye on the next ultrasound. They're like, yeah, it's just going to be one baby so it's crazy how things work out <laughs> anyways uh thanks michelle excellent service make a geek uh betsy our youngest are twins and my husband was a twin oh girl you've got twins running in your family oh my gosh <laughs> she's my trooper yes brandy <clears throat> she's my miracle baby we didn't even think we'd have her and then she literally survived. I had broken ribs at the beginning of my pregnancy, didn't know I was pregnant. So she survived that. I went, I had x-rays, MRI. I had medication put in my IV, which I had a, a bad reaction to. I fell another time during my pregnancy and she's healthy as can be. So this little girl is like the strongest thing I've ever seen in my life. I was just like so thankful that she's doing okay. So yeah, I think it's called disappearing twin syndrome. I think that's what it is too. That's what they told me. So I'm grateful I've got even one. I'm, I'm counting my blessings. <laughs> so thanks, you guys, so much for joining. I hope you have a great Easter. I love hanging out with you guys. We'll do another um, eyeshadow bingo next Sunday, same time at noon, and then we'll do our makeup class on Thursday. I think I'll do our class this Thursday at noon, if that's okay with you guys, too, just to keep it consistent. And then I'll be taking a break for um, the summer 
I'll still hop on Instagram and take baby pictures and all of that stuff, but I'm going to focus on the final week of, of my labor and delivery and this pregnancy. <laughs> Yay. All right, you guys have a happy Easter and I will see you on Thursday. Bye guys.